Hey guys, it's Serena. Um, today I am doing another thrift haul. And as you can see, I'm in my car, but this time I changed it up. I'm in, oh God, is this the mailman? Okay, he's gone. I just thought that would be a little weird. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a Goodwill haul. I went to Goodwill this morning. I got up bright and early and met my friend there. And this Goodwill is not near me. This one is near, it's like, fuck. Excuse me. It's like 35, 40 minutes away from me. And in case you, if some of you probably don't know me, but where I live, we like to call this area BFE. BFE means bomb fuck Egypt. Excuse my language. But basically, it's just you're in the middle of nowhere. And where I live, I live in a town that is, it's like separated. There's an area where there's literally nothing, just fields and animals and farming and all that stuff and hillbillies and rednecks and then we have the area where there's like the city area that's like a little ways down and that's like where all the hipsters and college kids live and a lot of wealthy people so I'm kind of like stuck in between in this weird town anyway that's what we grew up calling it BFE that's the town so anyway I had to drive through BFE to get to this goodwill that I met my friend at and I hate to do, I don't like story time videos usually because usually they're like 18 year olds and they're, they're so full of it. Like I, I just watched a video where a girl is an having an Uber driver with a gangster. Dude, he's listening to like T.I. and he's an Uber driver. A gangster is not going to be an Uber driver. Okay, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just putting it out there, right? I mean, she's got a lot of followers, she's cute and stuff, but come on guys, really? Like, really? But besides that, I'm gonna do, sadly I'm gonna do a story time a little bit before I get into my thrifting haul. So my story is, getting there was one thing, okay? It took a while, it took a lot longer than I thought it was gonna take. The roads here are really winding, really curvy. And as you can see, I drive with the top down in my vehicle during the summer. So that's why my hair looks like this, cause this is just what happens when you have a top down in your driving. So anyway, getting there, took a lot longer just because it's a lot of trucks like there's a lot of rock quarries and that type of work going on so a lot of tractor trailers are zooming by me and that's scary enough but then are there healthy oh there's people behind me probably wonder what who I'm talking to anyway then coming back was kind of, it was scary all right so first of all listen to this first of all I'm driving all right I'm going like 55 which sadly that's probably that's over the speed limit not by much but it's over and I'm driving and a freaking deer of course there's deer here a deer jumps in front of my car into the next lane and then just gallops away I guess that's what you could say they do that's what happened then second time as that ha as after that happened luckily everybody was okay the deer just you know went away second time as I passed that I was like "Ooh, that was scary so I needed something to drink so I pick up I don't even know where I put it now I threw it because it was so bad I picked up my sweet tea in here okay well apparently I bought the sweet tea yesterday at work and didn't think about the heat in Virginia and how hot it gets and how fast that would spoil so I'm an idiot and I picked up I don't, I don't know where it is I picked up the sweet tea and I drink it. At first it makes like a carbonation sound, like a fizzy sound. So I know right then and there something's, oh, that's a weird sound. I don't usually hear that from sweet tea. So I sip it. Oh my God. Have you ever had bad sweet tea? Cause I haven't, I haven't even, I don't think I've ever had actually bad tea. Apparently there must be like some lemon in there or something that made it spoil. It tasted, it was almost as bad as rotten milk. Have you ever had rotten milk? That, that's, that's the worst. It was so bad, I almost sprayed it all over the car, my windshield as I'm driving. <laughs> then, third, as this was happening after the sweet tea rottenness, a freaking lady <laughs> driving her tractor on the side of my car, spraying grass into the freaking road. So of course, with my top down, grass sprays in, all this is happening, right after the deer, bad sweet tea, grass thrown. All that just happened. Finally, I got the hell out of there, and I'm home, and I'm happy, and now I get to show you my thrift haul. You guys might not think that's that crazy, but it was crazy because just all this was happening, and it was just too much. It was too much to handle coming back from Goodwill. 
actually I need to sanitize too because remember last time Goodwill mm, it gets it can be gross this time I have it handy I kind of want to bathe in it because I'm sweating so bad and I'm sticky and I feel really sticky I don't know if I touch something sticky but ew so let's just jump right in oh god it's so hot I'm baking like a toaster cheeser Benny all right so that wasn't even what I bought. These are just CDs all over my car. My car is, I think it's an 08. Anyway, it has like a six disc CD changer. So that's why I buy CDs. Anyway, that's why I have so many CDs all over my car, yada, yada. All right, so let's get right into it, shall we? Enough story time. So, so bad. All right, so I bought the book Doctors. Look at this cover, dude. This screams Serena. All right, so this book is apparently about, oh my God, there's Janelle. That's my friend. But I don't feel like saying hi to her right now. She looks cute though, she must be going to work. Anyway, this book is about doctors and the beginning of medicine. So I'm really into that. I'm into all that scary, like beginning of testing with, even with like eugenics and all that wacky stuff they did to figure out what they do know now. I'm into reading about it and learning the whole discovery process, the experiences, the experiments, all that scary stuff. I love it. And the more knowledge you know, the better, the more wise you are, the more you know. I can always just throw random facts out there. Medical field is my field, science, even mathematics is getting there. Like I'm just that kind of brain, surprisingly. Second, I got, ooh. I got this Hannibal Rising book. So last thrift haul, I got Hannibal. Well, this time they had Hannibal Rising at this one. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna have the whole collection. Actually, I do have the whole collection now, thanks to this Goodwill. Look, they even had Red Dragon. Apparently, I didn't have all these. So I'm very excited. Yeah. I got Red Dragon, Sons of the Lambs, Hannibal, Hannibal Rising. I got the whole series now. Put that in my library. Next I got, this is, this is pretty embarrassing because of, just because I'm kind of old for this. Actually, nah, you're not too old for this. I'll take that back. I got two more Harry Potter books. I don't have them all and I've been trying not to buy them. I don't want to buy them brand new. I like buying them at thrift stores or Goodwills or whatever the heck. Even people giving them, pfft, giving them to me. Dude, I'm sweating bad. Anyway, this one's Harry Potter, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. This one's Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. These books are massive. $3. They're usually $30 to $35 in the bookstore. So this was a cool find. And I didn't have these. I think that's all the books I got. Yeah, that's enough. You guys, I have a ridiculous library. I need to chill out with the books. Anyway, I got, oh, I got some, something big in here. Let's show that first. Okay, this is a really cool find. I guess, maybe. To me it was. Oh my God, I'm sweating, dude. Let me take some of my not rotten sweet tea. You God, I wish you guys could taste it. It was so bad. Oh, I am gonna taste a sip of my cherry Dr. Pepper that's melting here in the southern heat. Whatever, anything's better than that sweet, that rotten sweet tea. I'll take it. All right, this is nicely wrapped. Oh, so my experience at this Goodwill, this is a nice place. This is like a newer Goodwill, it was in good shape. They had a lot of stuff, but ugh, the people there, man, it must be the people that shop at Goodwills. Sometimes they're just not friendly, like they're nasty. Like this lady almost ran me down. What are you going to go will for that you need to buy so urgently that you have to run down another customer to get to it? In the end, I saw what she was looking at and it was a piece of junk. And you know what? She didn't even get it. She put it down and walked right by me again. This time she didn't really run me down. She just casually walked. But no excuse me, no nothing. Why do you lose your like, I don't, manners in a thrift store? That doesn't make any sense to me. I feel like you should be really nice. Not everyone that shops at Goodwill is poor and gross and all that okay you can be cordial and civil and nice give me a break <laughs> really anyway 
Look at this. Dude, this is so weird. This is a bunch of bottles. And they've been, I guess, hot glued together. I don't know what somebody, somebody was making something with this. It looks creepy. It looks very chemistry-ish. I don't know. I was thinking about putting a candle in here. Or maybe I could put another, just a big bottle in there. But this is a really cool piece. I'm hoping that none of them bust apart. That would suck. But yeah, I was debating on buying this. But then I was like, I have to. This is so weird and cool. I can put this in my, like, oddity room. Which is basically my office for school and all that stuff. But I don't, feel. I shouldn't put my finger in there. I need to wash it. Ew. Um, I don't know what they use this for, though. I guess somebody just made it and thought it was junk in the end. Not with me. Because I like it. Alright, next. Oh, my God. The heat, man. The heat. It's probably melting those bottles. The glue in between. Alright, next I got a bunch of shirts. Oh, look. This was the ultimate find for me. At least for me. I got... Ah, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, oh my god, look. Do you see this? Do you see what I see? Do you see Dana and uh, Dana Scully and Mulder Fox on here? Because I sure do. And that's what this is. This is an X-Files t-shirt. Authentic. Look. Oh, oh my god. I only have one X-Files shirt, and this one's in good shape. I didn't even... God, I wish I knew the year of this. Maybe it's a fairly new one to support the new show? I don't know. But whatever it is, this is freaking awesome. You see that alien there? Mm. God, I love the X-Files. That was my favorite show growing up. I, remember, I think it came on Sunday nights. I would get together with my family. That was like a happy moment for me. We would get together and watch X-Files. Dude, I had to be like 10 years old. Maybe 11. And then I just stayed with it. And now it's on Netflix and I own all the series. And I have a shirt. I have two shirts. Oh, I love the X-Files. Yes. The truth is out there. Next I got, oh god, this is so cliche, so lame. But I'm excited. A Nirvana shirt, an original Nirvana shirt. I used to be in love with Nirvana. When I was in middle school, they were my jam. I... I have so many memories of with being with a friend and going camping and her dad playing their Nirvana CD and we just, I just loved Nirvana. They were so good. It's a shame that Kurt Cobain died, but I mean, he had to do what he had to do. I get it. You know, not everyone's happy. I get it. Fame's not for everybody, but I cherish you, buddy. All right. Next, I got this Godzilla shirt. Oh yeah. Look. It just keeps getting bigger like Godzilla. You see it? You see it? Oh my god, that truck was looking at me. <laughs> it's pretty cool. On the back it says Godzilla. I don't know if I really like the back though. But you know what? I got long hair, so I'll just be taking this nasty ass hair down and laying it out. And then you won't even see that Godzilla sign. Next I got, oh these are plain Jane. These are boring. These are for my boyfriend. I just got a bunch of basic shirts. Oh, I'm sweat. I just got sweat all over it. I need to wash it anyway. And you know what? Oh, I got one more thing. I didn't get that much at this one. They had cool stuff, but I just, you know, whatever. Not my treasure. More like my trash. So this is a cool sweater. This is just a little cardigan thing to throw over my weird shirts or tank tops or whatever. Because I'm usually always cold. Right now, it's not no time to be cold. It's too hot in here, okay? I'm dying. And that's it. So thanks for tuning in and watching my second little thrift haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got to see some cool things, learn a little bit more about me. And thanks for watching. Have a good weekend, by the way, because it's Friday. Have fun. Be safe. Bye. So I found the tea that was in my car. Here it is. Rod tea. Never again. Rest in peace. Oh, my God. Really?